Hi boys and girls, welcome to the first unit of Virginia Studies. Before we can dive into all of the fun activities and lessons, you need to have some background information. As you are listening, you will be taking notes to make sure that you have the important knowledge from this unit. As you are taking notes, don't hesitate to pause or rewind the video to make sure you get everything you need. Make sure you are keeping your notes so that you can use them to study. In this unit, we will be reviewing ideas that you have already begun to learn about in third and fourth grade. We will be discussing the five physical regions of Virginia, the major products and industries of those regions, major bodies of water, and our bordering states. Before we get started, take a look at these I can statements. I can locate and describe Virginia's regions and their products. I can name the major bodies of water in Virginia. I can name the bordering states of Virginia. By the end of this presentation, you should have a basic understanding of each topic. The first region we are going to learn about is the coastal plains or tidewater region of Virginia. This is where we live. This region is located on the east coast of Virginia and the United States. It is characterized by flat land and is near the Atlantic Ocean, Chesapeake Bay, and the Eastern Shore. The Eastern Shore is a peninsula off the coast of Virginia. The coastal plain is also the only region located east of the fall line. This picture is from Great Falls, Virginia, and is a part of the fall line. It shows the type of rocky coastline that prevented settlers from traveling any further upstream in their boats. This natural border is where the water drops from the higher Piedmont region to the lower coastal plains. This causes a lot of waterfalls and generally uneven water. This is the result of rocky ground in the Piedmont region, which doesn't wear away or erode, whereas the sandy coastal plains easily washes away over time. The region's closeness to the Atlantic Ocean, the Chesapeake Bay, and the Eastern Shore create the perfect environment for the coastal plains' biggest products and industries. The region is home to a booming tourism industry and is one of the largest sellers of seafood in the country. People from all over flock to cities like Virginia Beach for their large beaches and other attractions. While tourists eat fresh seafood during their stay, it is also shipped to other states. Our seafood industry puts out millions of pounds of clams, oysters, crabs, and various fish each year. As a result, our region relies heavily on the tourism industry and seafood industry. Lastly, due to our access to the Atlantic Ocean, we have a large military presence, including a large shipbuilding industry. Next, the Piedmont region gets its name from the Italian words pied and mont, meaning foot and hill. This region of Virginia is characterized by the rolling foothills at the base of the Appalachian Mountains. The largest industries in the region are tobacco farming, government, and information technology. Northern Virginia is the suburb of Washington, D.C., which is where our federal government is located. This is also where our information technology industry has blossomed. Our state government is in Richmond, which is also in the Piedmont region. Much of the rest of this region is rural, allowing for many farming communities. The Blue Ridge region is known for its piece of the Blue Ridge Mountains, which extend from Pennsylvania all the way down to Georgia. They are old, rounded mountains that seem to have a bluish color when seen from a distance. The Blue Ridge Mountains are part of the larger Appalachian Mountain system. The beautiful scenic trails, numerous campgrounds and national parks, and breathtaking mountaintop overlooks bring in millions of dollars each year for the recreation industry, and almost as many apples are sold locally and throughout the state from the nearby apple farms. Our fourth region, Valley and Ridge, is just what it sounds like. A valley is an area of flat land, and the valley in this region is surrounded by two mountain ridges on either side. Most of the western border of Virginia is in this region. This region is mostly rural, with a lot of open land and many family farms. Most notably, these farms produce apples, poultry, dairy, and beef. In the southwest corner of Virginia, you will find the Appalachian Plateau region. The land here is elevated, and from the east it looks like a mountain range. 
However, the land levels out and becomes a flat plateau on top. We recognize this region for the amount of coal that is mined here. Most jobs in the area are a part of this coal mining business. Next, we're going to talk about the bodies of water that are important to Virginia. As you know, we're on the East Coast, which means that we are located off of the Atlantic Ocean. We are also connected to the Chesapeake Bay. It is between the Eastern Shore and Virginia, and it goes up into Maryland. Lastly, there are four rivers that feed into all of the smaller bodies of water in our state. The Potomac River is between the border of Maryland and Virginia and is closest to Alexandria, Virginia. The Rappahannock River flows through Fredericksburg. The York River moves through Yorktown and the James River is in Jamestown. In addition to those larger bodies of water, the Coastal Plains region is home to two important smaller bodies of water. First, the Great Dismal Swamp is in southeastern Virginia and stretches from Chesapeake and Suffolk down into northern parts of North Carolina. It is a misty, wet, wooded area with pools of standing water. This swamp is home to many species of wildlife, including bears, deer, and ducks. In the middle of the Great Dismal Swamp sits Lake Drummond. It is one of only two natural lakes in Virginia. George Washington explored this area and made maps in the early 1750s and in the years leading up to the Civil War, runaway slaves hid here from angry masters. Finally, it is important to have an understanding of our bordering states. I like to remember this with the phrase, mustard with ketchup tastes nasty. That way, when I start at the top right and make a C around Virginia, I get the states in the right order. They are Maryland, West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, and North Carolina. All right, now that we have reached the end, I want you to stop and take a moment to reflect on the following ICANN statements. You should be able to agree with each statement. If you have any questions, write them down so that you can ask me in class. During this unit, you will use all of this information to help you complete various tasks in order to deepen your understanding. Check your notes to make sure that they are complete, and then you're all done.